Hello, welcome back. This is Nilnor, and we're going to stream a brand new game that's in demo mode. It's not slated to be out until uh, sometime in 2023. The game we're going to play is called Keiku Ancient Seal. So before we begin, uh, please uh, subscribe, hit that notification bell, like the video, and if you could, place a comment if you like this, and if you want to see more about this as it comes available, and we can see more. But I thought we'd get a look at it early on. So Keiko, the Ancient Seals, basically listed as an open world adventure fantasy game that uh, basically has some puzzles in it, uh, has some action adventuring in it, a uh, little bit of combat, uh, some RPG roles. It, uh, from what I can read, it almost and see on screen, it's almost like a, a a variation of like a Zelda type game. So we'll go ahead and try this out together. I will put links to the Steam uh, article so you can actually go look at it, download the demo yourself if you wish. So let's go ahead and start a new game. We'll try it in normal level, see what it looks like. Hmm, crystal hollows allow you to teleport between them once they've been activated. That's good to know. Take a few for this to get loaded in. I probably should have put it on my SSD drive instead of the hard drive. But here we go. Piggy Piggy, welcome to the Flaming Mountain. I have a supply box for you to open and check out. Piggy. <laughs> no, no, yep, that is great. Piggy Piggy. Crystal Tower ahead. They want us to check it out. Okay. So... Very good graphics in the game, uh, even for just a demo base. Looks like we've got a little creature here. That's our piggy piggy. And we got a chest here. Let's go ahead and open it up, see what's inside. Okay. We got uh, fragments, essence of health, uh, looks like a stone buckler, all kinds of stuff. Essence of stamina, crystal. Divine Gloria Sharpness, Divine Glory Lightness, Radianty, Hide, Ore, Wood, Mushroom, Kaelin, and Slingshots, and all kinds of stuff. Interesting. So, do we have an inventory? We do have an inventory. So, we do have in this inventory view, we have a map. Oh, it looks like it's going to be a fairly decent sized world. We're currently appear to be in the Flame Mountain area. There's a Wind Element area, a Dragon Bone, a Misty Swamp, Floating Island. So yeah, it looks like there's quite a bit we can move around with. Character-wise, you do have a couple ability to get uh, new helmets uh, in the demo. So I'm going to go ahead and go to that board because it actually has some dashing capabilities. That might be handy. And... Let's see, let's get, go back one. Weapon-wise, I uh, do have a better weapon that actually has 10% more damage. That'll be good. Armor-wise, we'll go ahead and take the uh, better armor. Shield, we're definitely going to take the better shield. Actually, holding shield consumes less stamina. Looks like we get a slingshot. Of course, we're going to go to the better slingshot. And then we have our attributes of food, materials, so we can, looks like we'll be collecting materials along the way. And then we have poison pellets, thunder pellets, fire pellets, and stone pellets. By default we have as many stone pellets for a slingshot as we want, but it looks like we get some more later on down the road. So that's kind of cool. Have a standard health, stamina defense, ranged attack, so kind of standard basics. There are abilities, uh, both the uh, active abilities and support abilities, which looks like that'll be later on 
get abilities with the pet. Uh, Story-based items looks like potentially uh, the chapters and kind of like a collection thing. Blessings, I guess there's some blessings along the way. We'll we'll see where we get to those. And then the tutorials is actually basically how to. Your main attack is your left button. Your right button is your secondary range. Is holding the C and clicking. Uh, looks like we have abilities that we can do by holding down our uh, mouse wheel. Multiple abilities are within. Plus tab to lock. So tabbing will lock on them. Standard uh, movement. We kind of already saw that. You can hold down the shift or press the shift to roll, so that's a good way to dodge. Holding the shift and running, so we can run. Oh, it looks like he runs on all fours there. Jump is just the space bar. Uh, double jump, standard to hit it once and hit it a second time to get a higher one. Your pellets, so you can change when you have more pellets. A quick access bar, so things that are in your quick access bar. Interact with the E key and hot key. So a lot of the same. We won't go through all these. We'll kind of go as we hit them. I do want to kind of just at least click through, get rid of the red marks. That way if something new comes through, we'll see that. So Piggy wants me to go down here. So let's go down and see what this tower is all about. Oh. Interesting, interesting. So let's go up here. Ah, oh, first puzzle it looks like. Okay, join pieces of puzzle together to activate the trigger. Under a limited moves, move out the puzzle element. So there's you have a set amount of moves, and you have to join pieces together to make them blocks. Okay. So I can come down here. I can click on this guy. We'll move him this way. Move him this way. Move this guy over here. Move, whoop. Move this guy down there. And this guy out. Oh, I ran out of moves. Okay. Interesting. That's one. That's two. That's three. Ooh. Okay. You can teleport between any unlocked crystals, so I can teleport this one now. <laughs> and we that's great, which means we only have one crystal to go. Then where are we going to go? No need to rush. Before we head to the next tower, let's go to a place where we can upgrade your weapons and ability. Well, that's always good. Hook. Let's go. Kind of curious. These look like you can. Yep, you can harvest these. Kale and fires taste better than better chilled. Okay. Some type of food. I wonder if there's something up there. I want. Yeah, there's a chest over here. Cool. I thought something had to be up here. Oh, a monster. That was kind of, whoa. There's another one over here attacking me. Oh, he's down. Can't break the pots, but let's see. What do we have in here? Hmm, a spy... Quir... Spis... Clear, uh, bad, I can't talk. Crystals, uh, some more leather, and some more items, so cool. Head to the Mountaintop Star Altar. So where is the mountain stop? Okay, Mountaintop Star Altar looks like it's that way. If I do the map, we, yeah, we can get closer in on the map, so... I want to look and see what's over here before I go down that way. Then we'll just go across the bridge and start heading that way. But you can't just go straight there. You got to kind of look around, see what's available. What trouble can we get into? Yep, double jump works. 
Oh, I can't get past that one, but there's stairs over here. So let's check out the stairs. There's a couple more of those guys. Can I target them? Oh. Let's see. Does that bring back my health? No. How about one? Does that bring back? Yeah, one is uh, will bring back the health. Oh. I dodged that fireball. That's a little rough. Anything else up here? Two mobs, nothing there. Let's see if there's anything over here. No chest? Come on, how have those type of mobs and no chest? Ooh, what's that over? There are some mobs over there I don't want think I want to get into. Oh you can can bust those, but it doesn't look like it gives you anything. But yeah, nothing nothing to loot. That's always no fun. Okay, let's see what we have here. More fire. Which I think that's part of the... Yeah. Go ahead and heal up because there's some more mobs over here. I don't know. Wake the totem and save the game. Well, wake up. We always like to save the game. So we got our game saved there in case we die. Curious. Do these guys auto attack or can I walk? Nope. Oh, well, maybe. Nope, there they go. They're not too bad. They have kind of a chargey type attack. You can kind of dodge. Got that one. Hey, piggy. I'm going. I know. You want me to go over here. You need to start helping out a little bit more. Save that little piece there just to save. Looks like you can save multiple times. Some mushrooms. Restore some stamina. Let's see, what do we have down here? More fire. And what does fire do? It's gonna be in here, won't it? So. Here, a fire takes well. That's 30 health. You only use it every five seconds. This is 225 health, so this is really good. This is no health, just stamina, and that's just basic food effects. Okay. So one is lighter in health, and the other one's better. So, ooh, that's a big jump. Can I jump it? Up deep water you die. Okay. Good thing I saved right there. So let's go around this way. There's some shallow water. Looks like I can go through here safely. Can't tell if those are monkeys or rats. <laughs> Yeah, we'll go up this way. We'll kind of explore around later. Whoops. One of them, a needle rat. Oh, fire on them, too. Ow. Interesting. They, uh, they hurt. Try the... Okay, there we go. I'll tap key. Uh, how can I get rid of my tab? There we go. Escape key gets off that. So if you accidentally uh, lock on, you can unlock. Rats are a little dangerous, aren't they?
see I do have one ability. What's that do? Oh, I just calls Piggy to me. Okay. Okay, stay away from them when they're flamed up. They're When they're fat and flamey like that, you got to stay away. But if you plan it out right, you'll be good. I have plenty of those, so I'll use that. And if you hold down your key, like the number one key, it appears that that uh, will allow you to use the second level healing. So that get plenty of those. Definitely a very beautiful world. Very beautiful. Let's continue working our way up this way. Oh, what do we have here? Prickly fruit. Increases the attack power. And that's now on button four, so that'll be good. Make me a little stronger when I attack. Okay, anything else here that I need or want? Oh, another, another one of these fruits. I know, I just can never just go straight there. i got to kind of look around. You never know what you might see. Oh, there's a cave over there. Hmm, wonder what's in the cave. There's something over here, too. Divine Glory. I'll loot that up. I uh, don't think I want to mess with him yet. He looks a little bit, uh, a little bit bigger than I'm ready to take on. He might not be bad, but I want to upgrade my uh, weapons before I get on too many battles here. So let's continue on to the shrine. Try to leave some of the stuff alone here that looks a little damaging. Oh, that we can't do. What, uh, what do we have here? Nothing there. We can rotate this one. Okay, can I make the jump now? Oh, not like that, I can't. I didn't look to see if there's a save statue closer. Now I gotta do all that again. That's the bad thing. If you die, it goes to your last save. So that's how they're doing your death. Let's see what I can get into here. Let me get back up to there. A little interesting on the controls. Get all this loot I just got before. Get this thing before it powers up. Oh, get away from me. I don't like it when you're powered up. Hey, you can't... You can't do that. I wonder, can I... Well, that does stun them. They don't like to do that uh, when you're hitting them with your slingshot, so that's good to know. Uh, let's go ahead and get a few more health here. And we'll finish looting these all over again. I don't like how sprint and roll are part of the same one. It gets I need a little work on their running mechanism. It's not bad, it's just awkward. And look to see if there's controller support that might make it a little easier with this type of game, but not bad with the keyboard and mouse, it's just a little awkward on the running. Now do I take those pigs out first?
Okay, the pigs are done. Get these last bit of fire here. Now, let's see. Let's re-raise this side here. get the other half of the bridge up. Hmm. I wonder if that's what this tower over here is for. Is there any save portals around here? I don't see one. Let me go ahead and heal all the way up before I take on one of these guys that I haven't fought them yet. I don't know how hard they're going to be. Can I just get one over here? I mean, I'm only hitting them one at a time. Whoa! It doesn't hit hard, hard, hard. There we go, there we go. Take them out. Do have a stamina limit, I see. But that wasn't too bad. Access by entrance to ancient rules. Solve the puzzle. Well, let me go ahead and kill these guys off here. up some wood. I wonder if that'll be used for some crafting later on down the road here. Is there another one of those? I don't see it. So let's see. Let's enter this. Let's see what it's like in here. The Crystal Tower. Oh, nope, that's uh, talking about some other thing. Under the volcano. Okay, let's see. What do we have? Oh, this is intriguing. Oh. I bet this is some type of time jump. Okay. Okay, you gotta follow the path, I bet. Oh, whoa. Well, that's never good. It's gonna take me all the way back up there. Oh, nope, you did start me here. Whew. I was gonna be upset if it was outside. Let's try this path again. Okay. There. 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 Safe. Okay, that kind of registers. We went past that in case we die again. Okay, what do we do now? Oh. Okay. Wait for that to come back here. Mm. Parasaur goes straight across and then up that. I was getting a little working. How do I get all the way over there? Whoa! Okay, that doesn't stop right there. Interesting. Okay, let's try this again. Middle one. Okay, this should be... And it does stop at the middle there. Cool. straight across there but that's okay so definitely some uh, interesting jumping challenges platforming type thing oh if you don't like platforming that might not be your forte 
I kind of like some games that have some basic platforming. This doesn't look too bad. There we go. What did we get in this nice chest? Open it up. And stamina, essence, crystal burst, all kinds of stuff. And now we get teleported out. But that was a pretty neat little dungeon. I just noticed the icon they had for the save in the bottom left corner. It almost reminds me of a Zelda icon. Interesting. Let's see, what else do we have here? Get out of that fire. stay healed up since I haven't uh, found another save point. There's a chest over there. Looks like I can come down here and back up this side. Nice. Now this will be one of those games you really need to explore around to, to find out where all the chests are. A lot of double jumping to get back up. Okay. Interesting. Running, you can't double jump. That's intriguing. I was hoping I'd find uh, the other uh, wheel. Let's continue to look. Do their nest. Well, get in my way, I'm going to take them out. Pretty simplistic on that design. Oh, well, there's another cave over there. Okay. Interesting. I know we need to go straight across to get to there. Looks like we probably are just going to have to figure out how to jump it. I don't know if I have enough distance. I really want to save. I really do. Can I go back here and save? The plants do respawn quite nicely, so that's kind of nice. The mobs are not respawning, which probably is a good thing. I'll go back up here. I want to save my progress. Just because I've gone a lot and I don't want to lose anything. And I haven't seen another save token. Yet. I, I'm assuming i got to save. Well, I know I saw the save icon. But i got to save going in and out of the temple. But I like to keep a little bit more save than that. So, let's see what we got here. Little mechanics I think they need to do a few improvements on, but for the most part, it's pretty good. Can I jump this all the way? Yes, I can. Okay. So there's a cave to the right. Looks like a, some type of citadel up top, or cage up at top. Let's go over this way. I'll go back and get the pickly fruit. I want to get these crystals. Now the question is, is do I go through the cave? Looks like I do go up. Do I go ahead and go up or do I check this cave out first? I'm kind of intrigued. I want to see where this cave goes. Probably to my death, but let's go and take a look.
Ah, oh, Star Altar. Is this where we wanted to go? No. Oh, cooking tables. So this. Whoa, 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 whoa. I want to heal more. I want to heal more, heal more. Come back over here. Oh, no, those are rough. Those are rough, definitely. Okay, let's, let's get some more items here. I was having trouble. It wasn't letting me, uh... I need to look on how to use the controls a little bit better. That's pellets. Quick access. Press and hold the console. I did that, but that wasn't helping me out any. Okay, so it just a matter of holding the one button to get that second level. Needs a, I think you should be able to set the item and then another key to use the item maybe. Like an F key or something. See, can I get past those guys without them attacking? Yes. I just want to jump across here again. Okay. Not sure if I'm ready to go down there yet. Oh, another save potion. Cool. Yeah, yeah. Mon bear. They're not too bad. As long as you stay attacking on them. Okay, let's see what's in this. This camp was a little easier. I only had one thing to attack. I need to get my weapons a little bit stronger or something before I do all that. So can I cook? So this one is our good health. Uh, this will increase stamina. Uh, this increases attack. And this is defense. It's one at a time if you do your left button or right click will do maximum. That's kind of nice. I like those health better. Let's go ahead and let's cook everything up that I can. The primary ingredient is so much better than the weaker ingredient. Nice little animation there. So there's two levels to the ingredient. The base ingredient and then the one that you cook when you cook on it. So that's good to know. Let's see ya. Come back here. Let's get that. I have a feeling these will be used in the upgrading of our equipment that we're going to. Oh, there's some more down here. Kind of interesting, it kind of gives you a navigation guide that really shows quite a bit, saying, hey, the back here is this. So let's go up to this uh, point he wants me to go to. I want to grab some stuff. This is good to, good to have. Now I know how to make more uh, of the good food out of it, so... many of those little towers. I can see there's a lot of questing you can do. Grab all this wood. I'm sure it's all going to be used here. 
Okay, let's check out the upgrade site. Huh? Oh, what's wrong, Piggy? Uh, since it's no dangerous, uh, this smell could lead to track down the giant beast. Do you want to track it down? <laughs> well, yeah, why not? Can I upgrade first? Cooking site. Upgrade. So, ooh, I need more redstone for that one. They, yeah, they use the same thing. Food capacity from 10 to 12, so that's good to know. Pellet capacity when we get more pellets and defense. Let's go ahead and upgrade that one while I can. I do need some more red stone. I know where some is. I'm going to go back and grab it real quick. Actually, there's some right here. Does that give me enough? That's three. That should be enough. Let's get my attack up a little higher. So it's kind of a grab all the materials you can to get upgrades. So that made my uh, main hand level a little better. Nice. What's this one do? Power me up. Fire for the one. Now let's let's upgrade that. And my stamina, let's upgrade that. Looks like I can do that twice. That'll be good. So that's uh, Essence of Health and Essence of Stamina. We ran across those. Huh, nice upgrade animations. What's this last one? Learn. Oh, this is where you can learn active abilities. Let's, let's learn something. Have, uh, I wonder if is that... Yeah, that's how many you use to upgrade. So I can... Do multi slash, which is three clicks of your button. Uh, this one will deplete stamina, but it's a very t powerful attack. That's kind of nice. Shield attack, and I can't unlock that one yet. So let's go ahead and do a multi slash. That one's already completed. Let's do a, a strong attack. Oh, just keep more clicking as you go across. Deplete stamina by 20. Restore stamina by 18. Depletes by 15. Restores by 36 with a lot of... Hmm, quick slash five times. Attack a shield. Uh, let's go ahead and... Upgrade the shield, maybe. Can I do one any of these? Not yet. Um, I'm gonna rage. I haven't got to that yet. Uh, ability feature non consumer. Use between enemies' attacks to nullify a damage. I want to do that. I like to nullify the damage. That's. I don't know how much of these I want to use because I think I can use them for other upgrades. So we'll do that for now, see what that gives us. Kind of play with it a little bit at a time. So let's come back over this way. It wants us to go down there. That's where it wants us to go tracking. I just don't want to jump down there. Is there a way to walk down there? Go ahead and get more of these divine flowers. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Well, okay. That wasn't too bad fall damage. I didn't want to fall. Looks like if I came back around that way, I could have got here. Well, what's this? Or Let's see how I do now with you, huh? Oh, yeah. There we go. There we go. He's down. That was quick and easy. Oh, yes. Nice. Okay, well let's let's go ahead and go. There's another tower over here. We might go do that tower. I know I skipped one back there. We can always go back to it, I think. Yeah, I like this new attack ability. This is so much nicer.
Looks like there's a save potion there. Oh, you can attack him when it does something? Hmm. I don't know if that actually healed or not. Whoa, that was hit hard when they do it. Okay, let's do a heal here. Uh, shield stunned him a little bit. That's kind of nice. Okay, let's pick up some loot here before we go in. Quite an interesting little game, I have to say. It's got good graphics. Mechanics for movement, I think, needs a little bit bit of refinement but it's not bad and again this is still early access so I'm sure they're going to be working on it or I won't say early access it's demo of it so I'm sure they'll improve on some of this as we go along or they go along and if I see they release out a new uh, demo I'll definitely do another demo of it here for you let's see what can we do I have to say there's quite a bit you can do in this demo so we might uh, do a couple episodes of this Okay, this is a fire one. Oh, okay. I think this has a, a little bit more timing. I can't wait around as long as I did. Yeah, that's, that's fast. Yep, I didn't move fast enough. Okay. Intriguing. This will be interesting. Luckily, right now, there's no penalty other than it takes it back to your last save area. Now, it looks right now it's repeating the same path, so that's good. Uh, I don't like that flying thing in my face. Okay, that was as far as we needed to go. Okay, okay. Yeah, the flying thing right there is a little annoying. It'd be nice if there's a way you can uh, tell it to stay back or something. I'm trying to anticipate when the fire is going to go out. opening a block. Okay. Glad I don't have to do the fire all the way back. So that brought up a stone. I bet that stone goes over onto this block. And that frees up the chest. Nice. We're not going to open that chest right this second because we didn't even go over here and look at this. What's this got to do over here? both on one shot through. Oh, this is going to be fun. Wish I could hold. Intriguing. This is not going to be easy. i got to get that timing down. Do them both? Yes. Where's this going to take me? Oh, the chest up here. Oh, secret chest. Super secret chest. That's why you don't leave until you search the whole thing. So we got more power-upping capabilities. Take me down. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, now that we've done don't think there's anything else to do. Might be good to kind of look around a little bit, but that looks like it. That was a fun little puzzle. 
Oh, hardwood shield. Nice. Let's see if that's better than the one I'm wearing right now. Okay, so if I go up in my inventory, my shield. Uh, movement speed when holding a shield will increase by 50%. Oh, let's go ahead and... I'm not doing a whole lot of blocking, so might as well... Uh, Okay, well, I can't tell if it's actually changing anything. It might be my attack that changes. So we'll see. So let's wake up this guy and save here. This is why this will be nice if I get this one done. So let's see. Let's interact. Intriguing. Okay, I was close to it. Let me try that again. This up and over. This up and over. Up, 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 over. Not enough moves. Oh, I'll try that over. Oh, that's not going to be enough moves either. Hmm. Okay, I think I see. I move this up. This over. This over. There we go. There we go. Let's do it. Let's do it. So I've unlocked that bad boy. Let's go ahead and save right there. Now supposedly you can teleport between these towers, so I, I can, I'm already there, but I should be able to fast travel back to here, I can. The reason being, there was a cave over here that I missed, I didn't go to. Intriguing. Well, but, that was a pretty good um, start out, so... We've made a little progress here. I won't say we've hit everything. I know there's a K or one of the puzzles back that way we haven't done. They want us to go over this way and take out the uh, tracks of the epic beast. But I think this is a good place to kind of end this. I think I will probably do another couple streams on this. Uh, at least try to run it until the demo runs out. I think we've got a little ways to go. Um, yeah, intriguing, intriguing, that's for sure. Very good game, great demo, you should check it out. Uh, I'll post again the links in the uh, description below for the uh, Steam page. Uh, there is an active demo on it going right now, and you can also wish list it. So, with that, I thank everybody for your time. Don't forget to subscribe and like, and we'll talk to you on the next one.